months before this general Most observers expected a rematch of State Senator Karen Housley and U.S. Senator Tina Smith in 2020, but Housley has decided instead to run for re-election to the state legislature. With Housley out of the picture, it raises question marks about which Republican will try to take on Smith, who won a two-year term last year in a special election and is likely to run for a full six-year term this time around. All of a sudden, Republicans are scrambling to identify a competitive candidate with uh, donor networks and name recognition, there's not a lot of folks who meet that billing. Tim Pawlenty is the last Republican to win a statewide race in Minnesota back in 2006, but when he attempted a comeback in 2018, he was delivered a stunning defeat in the GOP primary. House Minority Leader Kurt Doubt is another name that comes up, although he hasn't committed yet. Kurt Doubt has had a lot of press coverage. He's got you know, decent name recognition around the state. He's also got quite a donor network, which is very important. And then there's Jason Lewis, who held the second district congressional seat for one term, but was then defeated by Angie Craig. He could seek a rematch with Craig, but also is considering taking on Smith in the Senate race. Norm Coleman, but Rod Grams and the president of the United States losing the state by only one and a half percentage points. Uh, Minnesota might be uh, next in line after Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Well, the primary is more than a year away. Between now and then, we'll see nominating conventions by the parties. But anyone who's mounting a statewide campaign can't afford to wait too long because of all the money they're going to have to raise. In St. Paul, John Croman, CARE 11 News. Oh, true, John. Thank you very much. Senator Smith would not comment directly on Housley's departure, but her staff says she looks forward to running on a record of working across the aisle and legislation ranging from opioids to job training and the farm bill.